All right, uh, what up, Peace Makers? It's still the 2018 uh, fourth grade star. Um, we're looking at our, this is a geometry style problem. It says, Keith made a rectangle sign that had the perimeter of 48 inches. They wanna know which one of these models represents the sign that he made. So remember, perimeter um, is the distance around an object, the outside of the object. So you add up all the outside, you add up at every single side that is on the outside, and that will give you the perimeter of that particular object. Area is the inside, perimeter is the outside. So, which of these figures does the perimeter equal up to 48 inches? That's what they're asking you right now. So, the simplest and most sure way is just find the perimeter for each one of these and see which one is gonna give you 48 inches not that difficult but you do have to know that perimeter means the outside of the object and you have to you know have a little bit of patience and take the time to actually just work out the the perimeter for each one of these again it's that's the the most sure method to make sure that you got what you're doing uh, when you get quicker and you get more uh, good with your mental math you will probably be able to do these kind of problems in your head because you can do the sides addition real quick. But here, I'm gonna write them out for you. Each one, perimeter equals side plus side plus side plus side. In this case, we got quadrilaterals, it's only four sides. Next year, fifth, sixth grade, you may get seven, eight sides, but right now we only got four. 32 plus 16, I mean 32, 32, 16, 16. 32 and 32 together, 64. 16 and 16 together are 32. Then you put those together, and then you get 96, so the perimeter is 96. The reason I have two 32s, I'll show you that at the end again at the video, but 32, you need one for the top, one for the bottom, 16, one for the left, one for the right. So jumping down to G, it's actually 12 all the way around, it's a square. 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. Another way you could have did this is 12 times four, uh, if you didn't want to add them all up, and you still get 48. 12 and 12 is 24, 12 and 12 is 24, 48. So we're looking for 48, so we gotta put a question mark, that's possibly our answer right there. So again, we wanna make sure though we didn't make a mistake, so go ahead and work the other two out. This one here is 12 plus 12 plus four plus four. 12 and 12 is 24, and then four plus four is eight. And if you put 12 plus, I mean 24 plus eight is 32. Not that one, we're looking for 48, remember? Then we got 48. <laughs> We're, already, we're looking for 48, we already got a 48, so we know this one's wrong, but we're gonna finish it. 48 plus 48, plus two, plus two. 48, 48, 96, and plus four is 100. Too big, that's not what we're looking for. So, we know here, G is our answer, because again, I'm gonna go ahead and put these numbers in for you. 48 will go on the bottom, two will go on the side, 12 on the bottom, four on the side, 12, 12, and then, 32 and 16 that's how you know where i got those numbers from but again g is our correct answer guys so there you have it just make sure you follow your steps follow your formulas and you guys are going to be fine